Nikola Tesla. Serbian genius. Was born 1856 into a Serbian family. In the small village. Of Smiljan. Back then part of. Austrian Empire. His father, Milutin Tesla was an Serbian Christian Orthodox priest. Tesla's mother, Georgina Tesla, whose father was also an Serbian Christian Orthodox priest, had a talent for making home craft tools and mechanical appliances. Tesla's progenitors were from Western Serbia. Interesting fact is that Nikola Tesla died, or killed, on January 7, 1943. On Serbian Christian Orthodox Christmas. Coincidence? It happened after he left participation in Philadelphia Experiment. We will talk now about his connection to Philadelphia Experiment. My name is Alfred Bielik, more commonly known as Al Bielik. I have been involved in the Philadelphia Experiment, the Montauk Project, Time Travel, Alien Connections of the Montauk Project, and some other projects, all of which have been secret over the years, most of which have never been declassified. And it involved many people. A principal among them was, of course, Nikola Tesla. October 28, 1943 was the date of one of the most significant scientific experiments in history. The Philadelphia Experiment happened almost a year after Tesla died. He was on experiment only few months and left it when he saw that government is not concerned for life of humans in experiment. The goal was to make ships invisible to radar, to enemy devices. But the results exceeded all. Expectations using electromagnetic field. The U.S. Navy destroyer Eldridge disappeared. Not only from the screens, but also from our reality. The ship materialized once again. Hundreds of miles from Philadelphia. At the military base of Norfolk in Virginia. All records of the tragedy have been kept secret. But there was a rumor linking the experiment with the great inventor Nikola Tesla who supposedly made all the necessary calculations and drawings and provided generators that were used for the teleportation of the Eldridge. There is some evidence that these fluxes in space and time can be artificially induced. This appears to have been the case with the US Eldridge, which took part in the Philadelphia experiment on August 15, 1943. The brilliant inventor Nikola Tesla and the theoretician Albert Einstein are both reported to have been involved in this experiment. The tests being conducted were an attempt to render a ship invisible to enemy radar. This was to be accomplished by wrapping an electromagnetic bottle around the ship in question, absorbing or deflecting radar waves. The bottle was created by two massive Tesla coils which acted as electromagnetic generators. One was mounted forward and one was mounted aft. Other accounts state that a series of magnetic generators, called degasers, were used. When activated, the electromagnetic field would extend out from the ship and divert radar waves around the ship, making the Eldridge invisible to radar receivers. In 1895 while conducting research with his transformer, Nikola Tesla discovered that we can travel through the time. Time and space could be influenced by using highly charged rotating magnetic fields. Part of this revelation came from Tesla's experimentation with radio frequencies. 
and the transmission of electrical energy through the atmosphere. With these experiments in high voltage, electricity, and magnetic fields, Tesla discovered that time and space could be breached, creating a doorway that could lead to other time frames. Tesla's discovery lead to the Philadelphia Experiment and Montauk Time Travel Project. Tesla also discovered through personal experience the real dangers involved with time travel. Tesla's first brush with time travel came in March 1895. A reporter for the New York Herald wrote on March 13 that he came across the inventor in a small cafe looking shaken after being hit by 3.5 million volts. I'm afraid, said Tesla, that he won't find me a pleasant companion tonight. The fact is, I was almost killed today. This spark jumped three feet through the air and struck me here on the right shoulder. If my assistant had not turned off the current instantly, it might have been the end of me. Tesla on contact with the resonating electromagnetic charge found himself outside his time frame reference. He reported that he could see the immediate past present and future all at once. But he was paralyzed. Unable to help himself. His assistant by turning off the current release test. Same this incident occur years later in Philadelphia experiment. Tesla's secret time travel experiment would continue on in the hands of others who were not as concerned with humanity as Tesla. In the early 1930s, University of Chicago investigated the possibility of invisibility through the use of electricity. In 1939 this project was moved to Princeton's Institute. This is not far from Philadelphia, where they were able to make small objects invisible. They presented this technology to the government and military. I was during a war. Tesla had come to the same conclusion that Einstein did. That this technology is developed would not be used for the benefit of mankind. I got involved with the project in 1938 and worked closely with Tesla," said Einstein. In 1943 the government conducted a test using domestic animals on a ship. The ship that was used for the experiment, the USS Eldridge, was commissioned at the New York Navy Yard on August 27, 1943. Department of the Navy the animals were placed in metal cages on the USS Eldridge. The ship became invisible. But when it materialized again, many of the animals were missing. Humans were not to be tested. Yet on August 12, 1943 the USS Eldridge, with a full crew aboard, reportedly underwent the Philadelphia experiment. The men did not know what was to happen. The generators were fired up. The switches were thrown. The ship disappeared and all seemed well. However, others claim that the experiment took place. On October 28, 1943, 
the Eldridge's War Diary and Government denies any experiment. But the ship was gone from the harbor for about four hours. Not just a few minutes. Legend says that the ship was transported through space and time. Four hours later it returned to its original place. There was a greenish haze on deck. Some of the sailors were on fire. Some seemed insane. All were sick. Some had heart attacks. Some were dead. Some were part of the superstructure of the ship. Buried in the decor walls of the ship. Some reports said that men just seemed to disappear. And were never seen again. But where had the ship gone for four hours? Some witnesses said ship was teleport. In. Norfolk. Others say it voyaged 40 years. Into the future. And wound up at Montauk, New York. Perhaps one day the truth will be known. What happened to crew of 172 men?